Hey guys, welcome back to the uh, James Brother Sue channel. We'll do sports cards and baseball cards and comic books, all kinds of cool stuff. I'm your host, James Brother Sue. These I happened to find upon a yard sale uh, yesterday evening. I had a whole bag of them just for $5. It's 1990 Fleer, so it's nothing amazing, outstanding, but I don't know. We got some, I guess, some Sammy Sosa, maybe get a Cal Ripken era. Looking here, we'll see what we get. Uh, there's actually, um, this is a case, and then these were extra, so, I mean, they weren't in a case, but it's a total of 47 packs, um, uh, so I'm pretty sure the case was 32 packs, so, uh, it was a lot of cards for $10, it's a few other unopened packs of different things in there, but I just got the, you know, I got these for the opening today, um, so let's go ahead and open up and see what we get, let me slide these over here out of the way a little bit, all right. They open up pretty easy, so I guess they're they're legit. I used to always love the stickers that Fleer always had. Tops, of course, always had the bubble gum, but Fleer always had stickers, and I always loved the stickers. They always had good stickers. Alrighty. That was not always a good uh Kirby Puckett and Bo Jackson. Love Bo Jackson. Kirby Puckett, too. Um, I was more of always a uh, tops man myself, but we had some pretty good stuff in it. Uh, even though I think 1990 was the year they started really going down. I know 91, 92, there was, I don't think there was anything good in Fleer. There's one, uh, you know. Oh, they got the quizzes. Minnesota Twin sticker. Oops. Oh, there's a Mark McGuire card. I think that one's probably worth about a dollar. Tom Glavin. This is a rookie. Nope, it's his third year card. No, of course not. All right, that one's sure. Uh, Yeah, I think the the only good, the best rookie in here is Sammy Sosha. I'm pretty sure. Um, Frank's is Frank Thomas's rookie year, but I think they only had him in Fleer Update. So I think really we're just looking for Sammy Sosha. Ooh. Two stickers. I don't know if that's a good sign or a bad sign. I know some people can redo these and since they're not, you know, wrapped or anything. But I don't know, I don't think anyone will go through the trouble of 1990 Fleer. <laughs> yeah, maybe if it was something else. 87 tops or Donruss. But now, who knows, we might get through this whole 47 packs and realize there was not one Sammy Sosha. Sosha. And uh, we might have got had. Ah, uh, Don Mattingly. I know that's not a, a great card, but Don Mattingly is one of my all time favorite players. Uh, he's always has been, and I love the fact that now he's coaching for the Marlins. I actually had tickets to go see the Braves and Marlins uh, this year in April, but the, you know the season got pushed back. So I hope it gets rescheduled. I'd love to see Don Mattingly up close. I know it's a weird reason why he's my favorite, but he is. I remember when I was about 12, I had started collecting baseball cards. 
and I had started collecting 87 tops. That was the first thing I ever bought. Everywhere we'd go, I'd be like, hey, can I get a pack of baseball cards? Now, when I was with my mom, because I think the baseball cards were either 50 cents or 40 cents a pack. Something, I think they were 40 cents a pack. And every time I'd out with my mom, she would always find 40 cents somewhere. Though we grew up very poor, but she would always find 40 cents somewhere and I'd get another pack of baseball cards. But every time I'd be out with my dad, his reply was simply, which was the same reply most people probably got, was, you've got enough baseball cards. And I always felt that weird because even to this day, you can never have enough baseball cards. That's why I see it. There's Howard Johnson. I wonder if they named that uh, hotel after him. <laughs> uh, but anyway, so uh, Ozzy Smith is a great card. Love Ozzy Smith. Um, yeah, so I, I just kept collecting 87 tops, 87 tops, 87. I had no idea how much they were worth. I just loved the look of them, the wood paneling, all of it was just great, you know. And so finally, I was at school, I was telling someone about them. They were like, oh, you can get a price guide at trade day. Now, trade day is our local flea market. It's been in business for over 100 years. You can go down there and just find about anything you want. So I asked my mom if she could take me to trade day the next Saturday because it's only open on Saturdays. Ooh, another Ozzy Smith. And uh, she was like, of course. And so she took me down there and got me a, a uh, this little bitty paper uh, book. Just very thin. Um, but it was the, uh, you know, it was a uh, price guide. And so once we got to the car, I took a lot of my baseball cards with me at the time. It wasn't a whole lot. But uh, on the drive back, I sat in, of course, the back seat while her and my aunt drove home. And I went through my cards, looking them up one by one, you know. And they were like, you know, ooh, five cents, you know, three cents, you know. Oh, you know, to me, ooh, Kyle Ripken. Let's see if they misspelled his name on the back row. They did not, damn it. <laughs> All right. No big deal. We still got the still got the Kyle Ripken All-Star card. Uh, 10th anniversary card, my bad. And anyway, so uh, I ran across Don Mattingly's card, and I looked it up, and it was $3. Oh, my God. I was 12 years old back in 1987. Well, 86, I was 12 years old. And man, $3. Whoa, it tickled me something to death. Oh my God. That was the most expensive one in the whole series was Don Mattingly. And so I started a quest to get more Don Mattingly's, of course. And I don't know, ever since then, he has just been my absolute favorite. I'd watch him on, on the show on TV and when he would when play you know, with the Yankees, of course. And turns out, you know, people thought he was like, you know, a super nice guy. So. I just thought that was always pretty cool. And that's how I became a huge Don Mattingly fan though, because his card was more expensive than anyone else. Which I don't know, maybe it says something about me more than it does anything else, but I don't know, I still like Don Mattingly to this day. He's one of my top three of all time. And, uh, whoop, get this one off of here. Uh, of course, Wade Boggs was another. That's the third Ron Gant card so far. All right, now that's, that's I like Ron Gant, the Braves fan. Of course, I love Ron Gant. But come on, let's go up with something else now. Uh, second one of that card. Another Howard Johnson. Um, what are you doing? I mean, I'm working down here. Got my kitty cat trying to tear into my leg down here. Don't you ever realize that? That's the cards that... You know, you don't ever need or want. You get the most of. At least that's how it is with me. Uh, Otis Nixon. Now he played for the Braves for a while, and uh, and my brother had went to see a, a Braves game. That he stole a base, and after he stole the base, he pulled it up out of the ground, you know, and held it up, and they called time, and he went funny because he had just broke the. I think he had broke the Braves record for most stolen bases in the season. I, I, I don't, I'm not sure. But he broke the stolen base record on, on something while my brother was there. He got to see him take the base up and keep it and all that stuff. Right, speaking of Howard Johnson, there's his all-star Fleer team. Another Ozzie Smith, third Ozzie Smith. 
even though I, I love Ozzy Smith, I find it weird. I've only opened just a few packs. I've got three of his cards and still not a semi social rookie. Fernando Valenzuela. His card isn't really worth a lot, but I used to love to watch him play. Does anyone else remember Fernando Valenzuela? He'd go back in his, uh, into his pitch and he'd look straight up at the sky and then sling that son of a gun. They actually mentioned him in that movie. I'm trying to think of the name of the movie's name. I know y'all can help me out there. Bull Durham, great baseball movie. But he was mentioning that about breathing through his eyelids, and that's why he looked that way when he pitched. But I don't know about breathing through his eyelids or, or whatever, but he, he would definitely look up at the look up in the sky before he let that ball fly. Some of my other favorite of all times is uh, Wade Boggs. Uh, Mark McGuire, ah, David Justice, I think that's his record. I started getting a phone call in the middle of that and it cut it off, so now I'm gonna have to use my, uh, ah, Sammy Sosa rookie, yay! I'm glad uh, I, got, I got that back on tape, we started again. I got a phone call in the middle of recording. Yes, I have to use my phone for video. <laughs> so now I'm gonna have to try to splice them together, the first and second part, I hope that works. I'm not very good at these things because well, I'm old, and I've outgrown electronics to where, or, yeah, I think, I think that's the proper way to say it. I've outgrown electronics because I don't understand what to do with them most of the time. I used to be the kid in the family that, oh, yeah, go ask him. He'll know, and I can, you know, pick up your, uh, another Cal Ripken. Let's see if we get a, uh, an error. No, we did not, but it's still a Cal Ripken. Um. I'd be the one to go and help you know people hook up their VCR and things like that. Now I know a lot of you kids don't know what a VCR is, but it's kind of like a DVD player, but much worse. <laughs> but nowadays I'm just no, I don't know. I, I need I need young people here to tell me what to do. Uh, so I may not get this video out today. It may be tomorrow when I call my nephew and be like, uh, how do I splice these two together? Because uh, I mean I can do it on my phone, but I do have one of those. Um, I don't know, MacBooks or something. Uh, so that might just yes, work. Another Fernando. There's that great song. I'm not going to sing it for you because I want you to watch this video and not run in horror. But, you know, there was something in the air that night. Fernando. Uh, let's see. Jose Canseco, players of the, Jose Canseco is in my top 10 all time. As y'all can tell, I grew up in the 80s. Born in the 70s, grew up in the 80s. That looks like we're about halfway through. We got one Sosha, two Cal Ripken, but none of them are in error. I find it very hard to get error cards. I, uh, which I guess that's kind of the point, <laughs> you know. But I, I, I very rarely find an error card. I'm hoping I say that now, so maybe I'll win one. But very rarely I've ever gotten the error card. I do have. I've ordered us a box of what is it 88 fleer no 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 i'm sorry my bad 89 fleer with the uh the billy ripkin error card i have gotten very lucky with that one in the past so we'll be going through that hope it's shipped already so hopefully it won't be too long by the time he gets to the house
So what's your favorite pack? Like I said, mine was the 87 tops. I, that's what I grew up with. That's what I started collecting. I wish I would have collected more of the Donnerus and more of the Fleer, but I just collected a few of those. I've got a bunch now as I've gotten older. I go back and, and buy them, but, you know. Uh, the 87 tops was my favorite. All right, we got another all-star here. Joe McGrain. I'm not sure who that is. But I like all wax. I love wax packs. I guess because for one, they're easy to open. But I don't know, it just brings me back to my youth. There's the Fernando regular card. And Ruben Sierra, all-star. I liked him, he, I liked watching him play. He was a, another good player from the 80s. Of course, Bo Jackson's one of my all-time favorites, but I'm an Auburn fan. I grew up in the state of Alabama and Auburn was always my team, still are. <coughs> Excuse me. So, Bo Jackson was one amazing player to play. Speaking of that, I have not seen him in here, I don't think. Another Ryan Sandberg, all-star team. And, all right. Let's see, we got about four packs. Um, six stacks, so it's at 24 packs left, and we have 47, so yeah, halfway now. All right, we need, uh, we need two more Sammy Socias, and I would say at least two more Cal Ripkins, just for, just for Ron Yet, just for some, make, make the balance right. I got out of collecting in, in 92, that's when I uh, joined the military. And so for the next four four years, I never, I didn't buy any cards, which of course I know I missed out on some really good, good rookie years of people. Uh, Derek Jeter and people like that, I missed out on their, buying their rookies because I, I was busy, you know, in the military. Which, you know, I know a lot of people in the military that still collect and everything, but when you're uh, when you're a private, private first class, for one, you can't really afford them so much as, and then you don't have the time. And the main thing is you don't have the place. You're living in the barracks, uh, you know, Dale Murphy, player of the decade. I always liked Dale Murphy as well. I hated it when he left Atlanta, but I understand why. And there's Greg Maddox, wonderful pitcher, came for the came to be for the Braves. But you don't really have the room in the military to collect baseball cards or anything. And I tell you, that's the one thing you need if you collect baseball cards and comic books, things like that, is you, you gotta have the room. Uh, my wife will tell you now how much she hates the fact that I've collected baseball cards and, and uh, comic books because my basement is absolutely full. But it's still, it's okay. All right, we got the Howard Johnson. They should do a special at the hotel, bring in a Howard Johnson card, Ozzy Smith, and uh, get 10% off your room that night. And a Kirk Gibson card. Anyone else remember watching that game? Kirk Gibson getting up there and bad ankle, smacking a home run. I watched that game live with my family. My mom and dad and brother. Possibly my sister, I'm not sure. Y'all see that? Y'all see the, uh, that's Gandalf the Grey. He likes him. You know, he loves to come by and make himself well known. I'm surprised he hadn't come and got my arms right now, just because he knows I'm busy.
he showed up in our garage one day, and we live way out in the woods. And uh, I've always been a cat person anyway. I love dogs too, but cats are my favorite. Yeah, Barry Bonds, that's a good one. Uh, and so he came up into my garage one day, and so we brought him in. It's fourth Ozzy Smith. And he sleeps right up against me. Another Kurt Gibson. Sleeps right up against me, curled up in a ball, right up under my arm. He, he's been, we've had him for just over a year now. He's a sweet thing. All right. Here he comes. All right, come on guys, y'all owe me some better cards now. I wanna see one more social, no, what did I say? Two more socials, one more Cal Ripken. I want the Cal Ripken to be the error card. Of course, I think even the error card's only like 250. Maybe, it might be more. Uh, and Sammy Soch is only like two dollars. Oh, look, here's another. There's the cat rip. Okay, come on, come on. Nope, still the same. Oh, well, I don't know why I put it over here. It's only like 40 cents if it's not the error, but oh well. Cat rip, and he was a great player too. One of the top, one of my top 10. Uh, because I tell you, if you're going to break a record. Boy, he broke it. <laughs> he broke the hell out of that record. I think he almost doubled it. I don't know. It was something like that. There's a Mark McGuire and Don Manley. That's a great card right there because it's got two of my favorites in it. Keith Hernandez was a great Mets catcher. Wait, sorry, first baseman. I want to say catcher. My wife just came home. She giving me the evil eye? No, she's not really. Yeah. I might have to ask her to how to splice videos. I got a phone call halfway through my video shooting. It so cut off my video. Oh, nice. Yeah. Uh, she has been delivering desserts. Uh, these guys are uh, helping the church build on to you know an extra building, and uh, so they were taking volunteers to bring them desserts and stuff. And of course, my wife took a chocolate cake and some of those no bake cookies that she, she makes them so well. And uh, they called her before, or texted her before she left. They said, "Hey, they've got plenty if we wanted to keep them." So I convinced my wife to let me keep the uh, no bake cookies. But what happened, I fell asleep on the couch pretty hard, so she took off without me and took the cookies with her. And yeah, she's over there laughing now, like that's what you get for falling asleep. And other Barry Barnes. But I guess that is my own fault. I guess they need it more than I do. Trust me, if you saw me and agree with that wholeheartedly. Gandalf again. Well, bless you. I don't know if y'all heard that cat sneeze or not. Ah, Ken Griffey Jr. But well, there you go. This is his second year card, I believe. Yeah. Put that over there. Save that. He had a he had a great swing, natural swing. That's kind of a weird saying if you think we had a natural swing. I mean, I'm no professional ball player ever, but I don't think I had an unnatural swing. Like, who would have an unnatural swing? I've seen some pitchers that have some unnatural pitches. Now, that's the truth. And I just finished cleaning off this table, and it's going to look all, get it all piled up again. Here's the Cal Ripken Jr. card, League Best Shortstops. 
Okay, we still need two more socias. And because we've only got 12 packs left, I don't really see that happening, but it may. Alrighty. I tried making the camera out of the wide angle this time. I hope it worked. We'll see. I keep looking up at it and it seems like it worked. Ah, Wade Boggs. Awesome. If you guys will listen closely, every time I say something maybe a little humorous, you might hear my wife laugh. There she went again. I don't know if these are, if I've been had or if I've just got a very bad run of these cards. I only get one Sosha. That one almost came open on itself, but these cards are, let's see, 30 years old. 30 years old? 30, 30 years old. So they may not still have what it takes you know, to hold itself down. But if I get one more Sosha, I'll, I will say that they were legit. But again, who would want to tamper with 1990 Fleers? Nothing that space special about them. Brave sticker. Nice. Yeah, I'm trying to get back into the, uh, I got back into card collecting during the, about between 97, all the way up until probably 2002. So I went at it for another five years and it got expensive and I kind of stopped watching baseball so much. So yeah, I wasn't sure who the, who the good players were anymore. And, and now I'm trying to get back into it and I'm totally lost. I know a few of the names of the big leaguers, you know, but still I'm not, not like I used to, you could just name them off who the cards you want to for what year, what pack, you know. So now it's, uh, of course there's a lot more than just the, you know, the three companies too. So we'll see if I, I mean, if I get back into it, it's going to be mostly, I'm going to kind of stick to maybe just one type, like maybe Topps Chrome or or something like that. Matter of fact, why don't you guys tell me what you think I should stick to? Topps Chrome, Bowman Chrome, Platinum. I, I don't know. There, there's so many out there. I'm, I'm really at a loss. But I want something that you know holds its value well and has good rookies. I know Bowman was really good at the rookies. Um, so I was thinking Bowman Chrome or like I say Topps Chrome. I don't, I don't really know. Just give me a shout out down there and let me know what you think. I'll take it into advisement. Uh, I know they got some packs now. It costs $100 a pack. So if you advise that one, there's a chance I probably won't. <laughs> I probably won't take your advice on that one. But yeah, maybe I can get one one a month. You know, well, it's time for my one pack of baseball cards, $100. Well, I don't know. That might make for a pretty good... Uh, video. I mean, I'd watch a hundred dollar pack of cards being opened, but it would be a short video, I would presume. Presume? I presume. You presume. Presume? Oh well. My <laughs> wife is correcting me. She does that. Well, yeah. This one was all mixed up. All right, we're down to three packs now. Come on. Come on, Sosa.
Barry Bonds. All right, two, two left. This one got a little tear in it. I don't know, that one didn't stick very well. John Smoltz, that's his rookie year. Nope, it is not a second year card. Okay. Smoltz was another good Braves player. All right, last pack, last chance to get one more so so. We'll see if we. Yeah, that's done pack number 47. Doesn't look like it's going to happen. It did not. All right, 47 packs. These are my main good ones here. We got a Barry, Ken, Barry, two Barrys. This is the IL All Stars, Manning Lee McGuire. A Ripken, another Barry, a Ripken, one Sammy, one David Justice. Another Ripken, a Mattingly, and a McGuire. So it wasn't too bad. I would have preferred another Socia, or, you know, 13, 14 more Socias. <laughs> uh, but I think that's not too bad at all. And you guys tell me what you guys think. Just comment below. Let me know how you're enjoying the video. Uh, hopefully, the I'll get this spliced and get this up shortly. And I'll see you in a couple days when I do a morning. Especially look forward to the... Uh, the 88 Fleer coming in. It said it should be here by the 25th, but I paid like $11 shipping, so it should get here a little bit faster than that, I hope. But we'll do a video on that a lot, or do a, um, you know, bust those packs open on camera. That way, hopefully, we'll get something nice. All right, we'll see you soon. Later.